<laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my mystery husband. I'm here with my husband Mike. And we're gonna be doing a Q&A for you guys and it's gonna be super lax and it's gonna be super chill. We've got our drinks. The kids are in bed, but you can still hear them laughing and giggling to themselves. So let's roll into the Q&A. All right, we've already tried to record this first question before, but then we had an episode of Pepper in the Teeth and all the things. Stop, what are you doing? You burping in my face. You burped. I burped. Stinks. <laughs> Sorry. On my Instagram story, and I hopped on to my YouTube community tab, and I asked you guys what you wanted to know. I haven't done a Q&A for a while. It's been quite a while, and my channel's grown quite a bit since then. Um, and I've never done a Q&A with Mike before, right? We've never done a Q&A together, I don't mm. think. Yeah, Taylor Terrell. Oh yeah, we did one, mm, Tay Tay, we did one, we did, that wasn't a Q&A though, that was a like, that was like get our, to know my our, husband. get to know my, get to know us. Yeah, get to know us, get to know my same husband. Same thing, it's Q&A. No, kind of, well, so we've done something of this nature before, but it's been like well over a year since we've done anything together, so. First question, with two small kids like myself, how did you find how do you find time for just you and your husband? Okay, so what we were trying to just explain is it is it's hard. We don't get a lot of alone time um, because Mike and I work full time. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, I mean Mike works like long days. He goes to work, he's there by like 4.45 in the morning and then he gets home at like 5.30, 6 o'clock at night and I don't get home until six o'clock at night. I work four days a week, he works five days a week, and- um, Some days six. Yeah, some days six days a week. But we have, we have like two side businesses technically. We've got my YouTube and then we've got Eminem Rustics, which Eminem Rustics is like our side business. It's something we had before I started YouTube, but now we have an Eminem Rustics YouTube and we also have an Eminem Rustics blog with full of like DIYs. Check it out down below. We have a post going live today. When you guys are seeing this Q&A, we just posted a new DIY for a wood plank wall. It's a guest post blog, super awesome. And Mike also makes furniture and it could, we've like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of orders that we've gotten over the years. We've been doing this for like four, almost five years. It's been a long, long time. It started with signs and now it's basically very intricate furniture pieces and that is Mike's domain. Like Mike is always in the shop, I, like almost every single night. It's been less and less, like less and less now, right? It's been less and less now that we've had the blog, you know? Hi, Kaya. Hey, what are you doing? What's up? Bad I, I did tizza. What? What? He's in your bed? No, no, no. He he just hides from me. He did this and he did this. Is he playing peekaboo? <laughs> Is he playing peekaboo with you? Is he in his crib? Mm, he wants to be out right now, though. <laughs> I don't think so. He wants to be out. Right. And that's just part of what we deal with. I was reading on nice. Tara Henderson's story earlier. She's like, she's like, if your kid doesn't get out of bed 347 times asking questions, are you even a parent? <laughs> that's not true Can though. Can you walk me to my room? But you need to walk me Can to my room. Can you walk me back to my bed? Walk I will stay this room. time, I promise. Can I have some water? <laughs> Can I? Some water. Get I'm her to her really bed and hungry. she goes, I'm thirsty. Yeah. You just had water. I know, but I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty. And then you give her water. Can you walk me to my room again? <laughs> like sure. Never. Like all, every single night. That answers your question. We don't. We just don't get a long time. <laughs> Ever. No, I'm kidding. We do, but it is seldom. But yeah, a little bit. We do. We need more date nights. That's true. I love him and we're just, we're working towards like building Eminem Rustics and we're building this brand and this blog and we're gonna be stopping making furniture. So you'll, you guys will kind of like see a switch in our life. You know, we're gonna be doing like more daily vlogs on my channel, you guys love the vlogs. So we're gonna show just like more of legit like what our life looks like because it is insane, you know, cause we're working all the time. 
And I think people are really intrigued to like see how we balance everything. But yeah, we do need more alone time. It's, now. Okay, like end of story. Um, okay, so next question is, do you guys um, care about how you physically look and does that affect your relationship? Ooh, that's deep. Um, <laughs> why don't you take it away with this one? What do you mean by that? I don't know. I don't like, even do answer care, that. Yeah, do you care about how you guys physically look and does that affect your relationship? I feel like we're good looking people. Oh, uh, well, yeah. I guess we take care of ourselves. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> we eat healthy. We. Personal hygiene. I wash my body. <laughs> I don't stink. <laughs> like that's so bad. Can we say that? <laughs> okay. That. Okay. All right. We're gonna edit all of that out because it was super inappropriate. But bottom line, Mike and I are very physically attracted to each other. If that's what you're asking, like, I think that Mike's a very handsome man. I think he and he takes good care of himself. Yeah. I don't know. Is that, is that what you're asking? Physical with you? Yes. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> okay, next question. How did the two of you guys meet? You guys remind me a lot of my husband and I. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, oh, that's really sweet. Mm, I'm going to let you answer that. What did she say? How did the two of you guys meet? Or how did the two of you meet? You guys remind me a lot of my husband and I, LOL. That's so sweet. Um, High school? Yeah. Do you want to talk about how we met? You just tell the story because in the last video, I told them how yeah, we met. Yeah, but I don't know. Do you, you, you remember tell... it different than I do. Yeah, that's why I like hearing your version of it. I want to hear you say it. It was a warm, breezy oh. summer afternoon. And slow at first sight, that's all I got to say. That is not how it went. Um, do you remember how we met? And we were at a bonfire. How old were we? 17, 18? 17? 17. I was 16. 16, I was 17. Yeah. That sounds about right. 16, 17. Met at a bonfire with a bunch of our friends. Oh. I said, well, I was with my friends and. I'm like, who's that girl over there? I'm like, that's Morgan. Don't even try. I said, oh, okay, now I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. And how that was, and that was like, <laughs> not sure. Now, but. Now, by what I mean try, I wasn't trying what you guys probably think I was trying. <laughs> like, that's not what I meant by trying. Like, it, no, that's not what I was trying to do. They're like, don't even try to talk to her. Oh, Jesus. See, and I find that so weird. It wasn't because you were mean. It's just because they're like, well, Morgan's always got a boyfriend. So, so just don't even try. Like, don't even try to talk to her. And so I said, okay. Dun, dun. Don't. Try it anyways. So that's how we met, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, kind, kind of. of. That's how. That, that's how it like kind of kindled. Start, how, yeah. st started. It, it didn't just like all of a sudden blossom right from there. It was kind of like a. That's how we met, and then we were best. <laughs> I was gonna you say were something that was so bad. That's how the seed was planted. So we were sophomores in high school when the we love met. Scene. That's when we met. That sounds worse. I'm gonna stop talking. Okay. <laughs> So that's how we met. We met when we were sophomores in high school. He became like one of my best guy friends. No, we did not date. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, we did not date. We didn't date until our um, the summer before our senior year because I finally didn't have a boyfriend and Mike snuck right in there like not even a couple hours after I got dumped. I got dumped and Mike slid right in there and was like, yo, yo, yo. I had no idea though. No, you didn't. It was just, it was a coincidence, but I you're know. like, hey, what's up, what's up? No, I remember asking my friends, I was like, I was like, has Mikey ever asked you to go to a movie alone before? And my two best friends in high school were Mackenzie and Stacy, and they were like, no, who are still my best friends to this day, by the way. But they're like, uh, no. And that's, that's where it all started. Um, he asked me to go to a movie, and 
Now here we are. This is a, a, our 11th year together. So 11 years where, later. Where is he? Is he in his bed? Okay, so next question is, did you guys talk about parenting styles before having babies? Um, no. No, not at all. There's no book, guys. You wing it. We wunged it. Wunged it. We wunged it. Key is working together, being on the same page. Which is harder than it sounds, mm -hmm. and like most of the time we're not on the same page. Like every day, every day we talk about, like we talk through it, but a lot of, a lot of times we argue, we're like, mm. I'm like a pick and choose your battles. Yeah, but you never choose a battle. I was like, well, a battle's gotta be um, had at some point in time. <laughs> it's so true. She's like, well, cover the candy bar. <laughs> it's not what I do. It's <laughs> not what I do. You a candy bar every time. It's not what I do, as you guys can see. Not every time, but. We did um, not talk about it before we had kids. No. We just figured it out as we went. We um, used to work together. Yes, or at least try. Okay, so next question, next question is, what has been the biggest adjustment from one to two kids? Mm. Now we both have our hands full. I feel like it's gonna, it hasn't hit that point yet of the big adjustment. <laughs> um, no, it hasn't. As far as time, because they go to the same daycare, so it's just grabbing an extra extra body <laughs> yeah really essentially that's what it is so it's just a little extra wherever you go so but where it's really gonna hit in is when they start activities and school and they start getting involved more in yeah. school that's when things i think are really gonna change and that's yeah. when the two kids so not a real big adjustment at this age in their life i'd say like no. the only big adjustment has been like dividing our attention because kaya is very if you guys have caught on my instagram well, story so kaya mean, like okay. she like she's so flighty like kaya ever since she was like two years old her favorite thing is to run away she'll just like really <laughs> quietly <laughs> sneak out the front door <laughs> Couple, She's all over the place. Oh yeah, like a couple days, well, no yesterday, it was yesterday, Friday the 13th, she was doing the dishes and she just like quietly, I, I oh, had you break her in bed. that superstition stuff. Well, I'm just saying, it was not a great day. It was a really not great day for me. But anyway, so Riker was napping. I was doing the dishes, like listening to some Michael Buble and Kaya so sneakily, quietly snuck out the gate, which is like kind of loud. The latch is kind of loud on it. And then she, and the baby's crying, but she, she snuck out the front door, ended up walking two houses down to the neighbor's front step in her underwear and a winter jacket and her reindeer hat. And the mailman had to help me find him, find her. So anyways, it's just been like hard because Kaya does require a lot of like supervision. A little you more cost. work, yeah. yeah. She has to be stimulated all the time. Yeah, so you that's know? been so like- it's just constant with her. Yeah. So she has to be busy. She gets yeah. bored really easy. So like she's doing a project, it's like 15 minutes maybe. Yeah. And then she's bored. Mm -hmm. She's like, I want to do something else. Yeah, so like keeping her stimulated and then also making sure that Riker is happy. I mean, Riker's super like mm, outgoing. He is, he's he chill. Is, he's chill. It's easy to keep him occupied. Yeah, he's a sweet boy. He's a snuggly sweet boy. But that's what the biggest thing is just like dividing our attention um, and supervision. And a lot of times because Mike's in the shop, I am with the kids inside. So like for me, like if both of us are inside, it's much better. Like we just, we each kind of both take a kid or like take turns taking care of the kids. You know, I'll be like, oh, it's today I had Kaya, she helped me make a gate. Yeah, yeah, Kaya was out in the shop with me. It was Mike. like a puzzle piece for her. She got to help glue. Yeah, she loved it. Use the drill. And I got to clean the whole main floor. It was I let awesome. her use the saw. Just kidding. No, I <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so I, I think that answers it pretty well. Just dividing our attention. That's been the biggest thing. Cause Kaya takes, she needs constant supervision. Um, another one of like, how did we meet? We told you guys we met in high school. Um, so we are high school sweethearts. Was it love at first sight or did it take time? Ooh, I like this one. Hmm, it took some time. You were hard to get along with for the longest time. <laughs> you need the perfect mom. <laughs> I need the perfect mom. 
<laughs> what? Am I not the perfect dad? You're the perfect dad too. Thank you. Okay. Was it love at first sight or did it take time? Um, I always kind of had like a little crush on Mike, but he was like one of our best guy friends. So I never, I don't know, I like never did anything about it. And then once we f were starting to like kind of hang out with each other and like after he asked me to like go to that movie, like it took me time because, and I remember like texting Mike, I was like, I don't want to ruin our friendship, blah, blah, blah. So glad I took that leap though because so she she said that and I said oh I said okay <laughs> and I got it. you want to tell what happened I well I played the hard to get mm -hmm. and it worked I got really mad I got really mad I was like you're doing this to me <laughs> well, I wasn't mean I wasn't being mean I was just saying okay hey. Nah, -uh, you were mean. I remember oh. I went to the, we used to hang out like in a gas station parking lot. Oh yeah, we'd hang out in a gas station parking lot. I remember I, I went there and you totally ignored me. No, we went to Blake's bonfire. Yeah, I know, but this is right before his bonfire where he was inviting everybody. Yeah. And, and then, you ignored me. You just, you just yeah, took off. Out. We hung out. I was just like, hey. You helped me find out. I was like, hey, what's up, Morgan? You're like, hey. I didn't go sit by her. <laughs> oh, it drove me nuts. <laughs> what were you thinking? I want to know that. What were you thinking that night? I was like mad. I was like, oh my god, he's not even gonna like come over and sit by me. Versus like before this, well, before like, I sent well, out that text. Spe why would you want extra special attention if you just want to be friends? Friends don't just. I don't just sit next to my friends all the time and go, hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> we mingle. Just hang out. <laughs> That's what I was doing. I was being friends. She didn't like it. <laughs> what was going through your head though? That's funny. Sorry, sorry. Sorry if that comes off as cocky. It wasn't, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> okay, okay. But it was funny. I, it made me super mad. I remember I was like, what the heck? I was like, cause like normally you would come over and like hang out. Like before this, before I texted you that and said, I was like, I don't know, maybe we should just be friends. Like before that, like Mike was like always like with me. He was always by me. He was like sitting by me. And then after I sent that text, he like got to the bonfire and he like sat all the way across and ignored me the whole night, the whole night until the very end. A little bit, but yeah, I was, I was, I was a little more, I wasn't going after you. So he told me basically to say, Hey Mike, no, I don't know about this. So I said, Okay, well, if you're unsure, I'm not gonna put any more effort. <laughs> that was so, so mean. <laughs> yeah, if you're. But that's the truth. But then by the end of the night. By the end of the night, you're like, hey, I can't stand this. So maybe you wanna try things again? I lost my maybe, keys. Maybe, I lost my keys and he helped me find my maybe keys. Maybe our friendship isn't worth that much. <laughs> That is not what I said. That's it's worth said. the risk. Like she said. That's, so at that she point, said it's worth the risk. I said, oh, well, all right. <laughs> and I was waiting for one of us to crack. <laughs> but here's the funny part: is it took him so long to like officially ask me to be his girlfriend. I remember that. Like, yeah, you're like, if you don't do something soon, buddy. I know. I was I'm like, I'm here. I was like, here. I was like, all right, I gotta step in my game. <laughs> That was, I remember it was like end of September because our like anniversary is like September 29th or 30th, right? I don't know because I'm just so like, like oh, so corny, you know? I know. I'm not about like being corny. I remember we're sitting in your like, Jeep. Uh, you we're know, sitting in your right. Jeep in front of my parents' house. You're like, so are we going to make this official or are we just going to keep on playing this game? Well, it's September. Yeah, September's a good month. <laughs> it took us like, we were like, we had been like going out though for a long time by that point. Like we'd been together for a while. Um, like a couple months by that point. What? It was like a month or two, right? Before what? Before you like officially asked me to be your girl. Right? We had been together for a while. I think it was like two, three months. Yeah, it was a couple months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can agree on that. Yeah. Yeah. It had been a while. So 
we finally made it official and I like I felt super hard super fast for you I like knew I knew you were the one right away even before like we became official like I knew you were the one it was, it's weird. I don't know how to Same explain here. it. Same here. Of course, obviously. I got to... We can't, so. like, you for sure knew I was the one. Tell them, like, what you did. Like, two months after we started dating. For Christmas. Oh, yeah. I got you... What are they called? Promise ring. Yeah. Yeah. I remember showing my mom that. She's like... <laughs> this is an engagement ring, <laughs> I said, oh said, Mom, you know me, this is not like me. I wouldn't normally do this. <laughs> Never done this before. I said, well, what is it? I said, well, it's just one of those, you know, those rings you give to a girl that, you know, commitment <laughs> for, to date me for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You, you know? <laughs> she says, oh. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that was an awkward conversation. Mm-hmm. She asked, it's like, well, what do you get in Morgan? So, well, I whip up this box and I can, I can, I can just imagine what's going through her and she's like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny though, I don't like things. If you knew my mom, you would just know that that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> oh What's my going gosh. on? What's Mike gotten into now? <laughs> I just, I remember, so that was what, like, took a few months after we started dating. We were seniors in high school. And I was working at a flower shop at the time. And I remember Mike texted me and he's like, we're talking about Christmas gifts. And he, and I was like, well, what'd you get me? And you're like, no, I don't remember how it happened. But you ended up texting me. You're like, I am so excited. I've never been so excited to give somebody a gift before in my entire life and I was like oh my god like it must be really big like it must be a big deal he was well, so yeah, excited were, I mean like think about this guy she was working at a flower shop I mean just like this cute beautiful girl that's just working at selling flowers <laughs> and, and she gets off work and I'm surprising her with this beautiful gift yeah you were in the parking lot and this is like notebook it's this is like so the cute. notebook it's so cute. Yeah, you were sitting yeah, that in the park. Or like a Hallmark movie, you know? Yeah, it kind of sounds Hallmarky. <laughs> Which is like a little bit yeah, cheesy. Like, yeah, a yeah. little bit cheesy, guys. <laughs> you know. but yeah, it was, we didn't plan it out that way. You just happened yeah. to work at a flower I shop. I, I did. I just happened to work at a flower shop. And I remember I came out and I was so excited. And I knew it was going to be big. But you were sitting and he had like a white Jeep. Was it like a 97? White 97 oh, yeah. Jeep Grand Cherokee. Or... It tore through some mud. Mm-hmm. Yep, he's out there. White 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee, like, waiting in the parking lot. Tinted windows. Tinted windows. Nice. You know, just the typical 17-year-old mentality. Yeah. Yep. Tinted windows, me... white. Tear through <sighs> cornfields. Yep, you were a bro. You were such a bro. Not a bro. I didn't have white shades, right? I never had white shades. <laughs> so he gave me this promise ring, and yeah. And then we got engaged when I was 20, and we were married when I was 22. So, and by that point, we had been together for five years, right? By the time we got married, we had been together for five years. We got married really young. Mm-hmm. Like when we were Both so... of our mentality was the same though. Yeah, we were... We, want, we mm -hmm. wanted to marry and have kids young because mm -hmm. I wanted to be young and fit and be able to... Yeah. Run around with my kids. I didn't want to be old. Yeah. And like, and we... And we kids. knew. And I just... Like not, saying, have, not saying you can't be 45 and be really in shape. Right. <laughs> no, yeah, that's totally true. But, like, we, we knew that, like, we found the one and we're like, well, and we, we had our lives pretty, like, well set up. You know, we, I had a really, really good job. Mike had a really good job. And it just, I, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Are you belching? They're just, like, floating out of me. What is this stuff? <laughs> Anyways, what we're trying to say is that like 
compared to a lot of our friends at the time who were like still in college, Mike and I were like way ahead of our like life schedule, right? So we just we were like, okay, we're not gonna waste any time. Might as well get married and start like trying to um, trying to um, we wanted to buy a house, build a house, whatever. And so and then um, we were going to wait to have kids, but that's a story for another time. Basically, I it was like it was an infertility thing. I have endometriosis, and um, uh, the month after we got married, I had like a typical OBGYN appointment, and I was told that I had a 50/50 chance of having kids. Long story short, we started uh, trying for a family right away because it was important to us, and we knew we wanted to have kids young anyway. So we figured just jump right into it. My parents had me super, super young. Um, like my side of the family, they've all had kids fairly young. Oh, yeah. um, your side of the family is a different story, but- uh, My mom was 26 when she had me. Yeah, and I was, what, 23 when so, I- So, I mean, I wouldn't say that's super young, but yeah, it's fairly young. Yeah, I was, what was it, was I 23? I was 23 when I had Kaya, yep. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. Yeah, um, how many kids do each of you want? All right, say this on three. One, two, three, three. two. <laughs> I actually, right now, I am good with two. There are days where I'm like, I have a boy and a girl, I'm good, because it's, there are, yes. it's stressful. We, we got Kaya's, lucky, Kaya's best of both worlds. Every time a family has ever had, okay, and maybe not every family, but <laughs> A lot of people I talk to, they say, well, if they have like, it seems like they have like a boy and a boy first two rounds or a girl and a girl first two rounds. And then they're like, oh, well, you know, I kind of want a girl or I kind of want a boy. So then they try and try and try until they kind of even that out. And for some people, it's not always that because sometimes they have a boy and a girl and then they have another one and then they have another one. So it's like, whatever. But I don't know. I guess it just depends on the person. Yeah. Mommy, 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 do you see this? This, your, your blockhead, and we're here. Mm -hmm. See the next together. I know. Is that boring, Kaya? Mm hmm. Why is it boring? See, you get bored easily. Mm -hmm. Hey, you need to go up to bed with Dad. What's the situation, Kaya? Daddy, Daddy, do this, my boy, do it. Think of where that am. Are you a tiger? She needs to go to bed with little circles under her eyes. Kaya, do you need to go to bed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to bed. Uh, does Mike like your YouTube thing? I love it. I absolutely. I do. Yeah. I like it because you really and you really it's something you really enjoy doing. Yes, I do. I love it. I so, love YouTube. Something that makes you happy and something you love doing. Yeah, keep keep on going with it. Yeah, if you would have asked us back it's, way back when. I mean, sometimes I'm just like, all right, well, you know, I said, if there's certain situations where it's a little rough after work and we're like, oh, and Morgan's trying to like, get the videos, yeah, everything situated, it's hectic. Yeah, so I'm just kind of like, hey, can you just put down for a little bit and let's <laughs> get this situation figured out? <laughs> He's so right. Like, so when you guys see like our night in the light <laughs> videos. Or like working mom routine videos like it's like those are like legit real you guys know that but it was super real on my to channel say that too. you shouldn't stop doing it just because of yeah. that um, yeah and I won't I'll still continue everything in life is gonna be tough no matter what you do exactly so if you love doing it and you're working towards something you love and enjoy doing that's what life's all about mm -hmm. yeah doing stuff you love doing I agree I agree. I agree with you. Okay, next question question is Mike, how did you find such a fine lady and can I have her? <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> and they're sold out. Of me? Yep. There was only one and I bought her. <laughs> I was, well, I for, I forgot. I was supposed to tell you that that was coming from a guy. Sold out and will never be for resale. 
Uh, that question comes in from Taylor Terrell. <laughs> Sounds about right. What is your favorite animal? A dog. A dolphin and a dog. Oh, oh my gosh, we're supposed to do one, two, three. Oh, sorry. No, I'm just kidding. You already said it. Monkey's out of the bottle. Oh. I like doggies and dolphins. How about you? I like um, turtles. I like totos. And sloths. Are you kidding me? Is that your real <laughs> answer? <laughs> a turtle and a sloth. Okay, honey, if that's your answer. We'll that's fair. That. No. That's fine. I love dogs. Yeah. Who doesn't love dogs? Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of cat people out there saying, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Hardest thing about parenting, our baby is almost one. We've learned a lot, but some days, mind blown. Um, hardest thing about, oh, the hardest thing about parenting, um, I would say like in general, Kaya. Just Kaya is so hard. She oh, is Oh, that's so, not, that, that, that's individual, okay. But we gotta answer the actual like hardest question. thing about parenting in general is when you think that you're doing finding a common ground with your partner. No, that's not the that's not the hardest thing for me. The hardest thing for me is like so we parent Kaya. We're very like I feel like we're pretty like strict with certain things and like we're good parents with Kaya. She's, she has her own, she's very free spirited and she's very stubborn. So no matter how your parenting style, we've tried every parenting style under the sun. It, for her doesn't matter. It comes down to her and what she wants to do. So you have to manipulate what she wants to do. It sounds bad, but she's so stubborn. So that's been the hardest thing about parenting for me and, and the running away, I, that, it, I cannot handle my anxiety uh, like that was, that was recent, but yeah, she's 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 more difficult, that's for sure. Yeah. It's not more recent. She's been doing that since she was like two. Well, she she's just like she just bounces all over the place. You know, I gotta give her credit though, like she is gonna she's gonna go places later on in life, but yeah. she just needs guy she needs a lot more guidance and re I would say redirection because yeah. she gets off track a little bit like you, you have her focus on something and she's easily kind of just and you're like all right Kaya, come on but, but what are we doing we'll concentrate on what yeah. we're doing she's very much so has add yeah, but pretty much yeah. yeah yeah so that's been the hardest thing about parenting for me so far would you agree yeah is how does your husband feel about putting your life and kids on youtube y'all are the best well thank you which is sweet how do you feel? I feel like you kind of answered this earlier, but do you like go into more detail? Like, how do you feel about like me? I don't feel like my channel really focuses on the kids. It's it more so focuses on me and me being a mom. Yeah. You know, like I occasionally show the kids, but I try to focus it more so like on me. But how do you feel about like my life being on YouTube? I now I'm starting to get like recognized in public. Like, what is your take on that? I've been really interested to know this actually. It's like, whoa. That's your answer. It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa. It's like, whoa. My babe is famous. I'm like, not famous. That's not, that's not what it is. But it's like, but we definitely open no. up our home to you well, guys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, some people are indifferent about it. Where they think it's like, oh my gosh, how could you share all your personal life with like everyone in the world to see? It's like, well, I don't know. We also it's pick not, and choose what we show. Yeah. I mean, we're smart about it. Yeah. I mean, we don't show everything, so it's, yeah. I don't know. At first it was a little different. <laughs> it was so smart. Yeah, I was, I was like, really? Let's see, do you realize that millions of people are gonna, this is reaching millions of people. Mm -hmm. Granted, not millions of people are watching it, but it's reaching millions of people. Mm -hmm. Possibly billions. <laughs> <laughs> it's the internet. <laughs> you know? It's the internet. So, yeah, it's a little different to see, but it's really cool to see reactions yeah. from people. Well, that, 
That's interesting. I've always like wondered. And people always ask to see like more of you on the channel. They're like, oh, like show them like, I'm not more that interesting. Yeah, yeah, you are. You're funny. No. But I, I don't know. I'm just so busy doing other stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the thing is like Mike's not really like around. I mean, he's around. He's around. <laughs> Mike's not really around. Mike's around, but he's just, Mike's always so busy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm around. <laughs> I'm he's here. in here. He's here. He's just in the shop. You should get like an intercom system. Like, I'm here. <laughs> just like oh once in all my videos, you'll hear like, I'm here. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm still here. I am alive. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, that's interesting. I've, always, I've like wondered that. But, yeah. We're starting to get really tired. Okay, we are down to the last. Um, What's your favorite animal? No. I'm just kidding, we answered that already. Huh. Another one of how many kids we want. Um, two or three. Uh, what's the one thing you hope to teach your kids in life? Ooh, do you want to go first this time? Ooh. Be a good person. That's a really good one. That's just a be a good one. person. Whatever you do, Whatever you're doing in life, it's a matter about money, just be a good person. Mm -hmm. Be That's a like genuine it. person. Yeah, I agree with that all the way. It's like the biggest thing. I mean, if you could go through life, no matter what you did, no matter how much money you made, whatever, how many people did you either A, influence or A, affect in a positive way? Just be a good person. Yep, I totally agree. My, That's a hard thing to do for people these days, is just be a good person. <laughs> I would say my, my, my thing I wanna teach, I second that, that would probably be my like number one, but also I want to travel the world and bring my kids with me and show the kids what this world has to offer. There's so much this world has to offer. Right. I mean, if if you think about like the vast majority of people out there and some that live remotely and uh, it just blows your mind. Mm-hmm. Mike and I- Like all the different like ethnicities and, yes. and their culture and everything. Yep. That's, sometimes you just need to break out of that bubble. Yeah. And like where we live, it's definitely a bubble. Oh yeah. And, yeah, and Mike and I are like, bubble. we're so like, we have the travel bug. Like we are so enthused by like everything in the world and we always want to experience it at like the local cultural level. Like we don't want to just like hotel it all the time. There's, and, well, that's the thing that if you're thought about this too, is that if you just, you're sitting at your desk or your job or whatever you're doing that day and you just say, what if I just like decided to just like up and leave this, go move somewhere remote, like in South America, Africa, wherever, you know, just go move and just go do something and just live off of whatever they had to offer. Mm -hmm. People do that. I know. I feel like we it's would too. Nuts. I feel like we would too. If we were younger and we didn't have kids, we would do something like that, but I, I don't know. Mike and I just, we just love to travel and we love. I'm not saying America's the world. Not great. America's great. I love America. But but <laughs> there is other parts of the world that has a lot of things to offer and show you. It'll make you a more rounded person. Yeah, I just think like experiencing more and having the kids along with us to experience those things. And like one of my most favorite things of being a parent is like watching them experience things for the first time. It's I mean it's such an incredible feeling. Like seeing that like spark in their eyes. Yeah, I mean, like, I get that, like, Riker's super young, but, you know, we've, now that Kaya's, you know, gonna be five this year, we've seen it a little bit more, you know, like, when she experiences things for the first time, and, yeah, it's really, it's really fun. So that's, like, like, one of the things that I want to teach my kids is just, so be a good person, and then show them everything that the world has to offer, and expose them to all cultures and people and, like, countries of the world. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. I agree. Okay. 
few more well, questions. Well, that's it. That's it for today, guys. I'm gonna go watch a movie on my pink eyes. <laughs> you You gonna watch Up? Kids have really been loving Up lately. Oh, got Barbie on here too. Oh yeah. One of the kids' birthdays. Kaya's birthday is September 30th. When's Riker's birthday? <laughs> I love asking him this because he never remembers. Two nine. 19. Okay, there you go. <laughs> February 9th. How do you make time for each other and keep the romance alive? Again, <laughs> these questions are so awkward. They're not awkward. Well, keep the romance alive? I don't know what do we do to keep the romance alive. We're not just talking. <laughs> In the sheets. Whoa, like. what do you mean by romance? <sighs> well, like just in general, like being romantic. Like cooking dinners yeah. for each other. Yeah. I don't know. We go on trips together. Mm. I don't know. Vacations, vacations definitely are our favorite. Vacations help keep the romance alive, bow show, especially yeah. after you have kids. You gotta go on vacation, even if it's yeah. like a friend vacation where you're just able to still have alone time. I mean, even yeah. if you're, you're with your friends, I mean, it's you still, still have alone time. Yeah. Alone time. And <sighs> We're definitely into friendcations. Yeah. Well, yeah, because a lot of times we don't get to hang out with our friends. Yeah. So it's a good time to like. Be able to still hang out with them and still have our own bonding romance. Yeah, like we hang out with each other like in the evenings. You know, you can do like date night or like we still like broke off and did our own things. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, but then your group of friends are there for you know if you want to like get down during the day, have fun. We like to have fun. Like mm -hmm. we work really hard and we parent really hard. We don't really go out very often. I'd say once a month, once every three months. And if that, yeah, seriously, I would say like if, once every three months we go out. We actually go out. Yeah, like and see our friends and stuff. So it's not very often that we get to like escape um, and have we like a friends night. over though. I'd say at least yeah. once a month we'll have like friends over and. Hang yeah. out, but we have people majority, of the, majority of the time, we work really hard. <laughs> we do. We work a lot. We work really hard, but we also play really hard. <laughs> so, so when we are, like our like vacation mode, like vacation us is very different. You know. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, we like to we party hard when we go on vacation. So we vacation professional ninety five percent of the time. But that 5% comes out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How yep. old were we when we met? Um, we answered that earlier, but we were 16 and 17. Um, do you have any favorite Mother's Day and Father's Day traditions? Ooh, we don't have any traditions for Mother's Day and Father's Day. We legit, like, it's just, I don't know. Here's your present, let's just hang out for the day. We should make traditions though, that would be well, kind of fun. Well, it's not really a tradition, it's kind of like, well, the tradition is like, hey, celebrating that day. Where like, it's all about the other person. Yeah. Sorry, Kaya just got up again. Yeah, it's just that, like you say, hey, what do you want to do today? What? Okay, let's not worry about cracking our fingers right now, okay? <laughs> So, long story short, no, we do not have traditions, but it would be fun to start doing traditions. We just like make the whole day about okay. that person, right? So like Michael take the kids Mother's Day and like go get, um, like whatever. He'll go get like flowers and like a cute breakfast or something that morning and then vice versa for Father's Day. Usually we're at the lake though for Father's Day. Yeah. What's up? We will, hey. <laughs> All right, mom's got it. This is what brand are your glasses? They're adorable. Well, thank you. I have no idea what my, what brand my glasses are. I got them. What glasses? Three like years ago. Eye my eyeglasses. glasses. Oh. I have no idea. Not sunglasses. No, nope, I have no idea. My sunglasses are Ray Bans. <clears throat> what are they? What's the? What kind of Ray Bans are they? Way? No, they're not Wayfarers. What are they called? Mm. Um. 
we don't know. <laughs> They're right back, so. Um, okay, so last question oh. is, how is marriage and raising kids? Um, marriage and raising kids is hard. Um, it's definitely something that we work at every day, but at the same time, it's like, it's it's like, I don't know, for me, it's like second nature. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just like that, this is my life. Like, this is how it is, and it's just, and it's enjoyable, it's fun, it's, I don't know. We've been together for so long, we know each other like the back of our heads. I had a meltdown this morning and I came back and I apologized. I said, I was out of line. <laughs> but like, again, remember like Mike and I work really hard. Um, Mike and I work really hard and we work a lot. And so we each tend to snap at, and it, thankfully, usually it's at, at different times and we kind of equal each other out. But like we, we do snap. And like, that's where the other person comes in to be like, hey, like, it's okay. Like, right. yo, chill. Yeah, chill. Chill, bro. It's fine. Chill, bro. But I don't know. It's just, we just know each other super well. And like, when you snap, like, I'm like, he just needs to yeah, let it out. Hey, just chill. Yeah. I mean, I let it, I let you get it out. And then I'm like, yo, chill, calm down. Like, just go to the garage and crack out in order. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that just means that Mike needs like a, a minute to pull so off. In, yeah. Crack out an order. Good to go. And me. Oh, God, I'm tired. And me, I tend to like, I'll throw on like Michael Buble and my Michael essential Buble. oils. Michael Buble. Michael Buble. Yep. That's what I do. And then I just do my thing and I just have to remind myself that everything's okay, good things come to those who wait and and to just be a good person, right? But we're we're human. Yeah, right? Not gonna <laughs> that was the greatest comment you're... ever. Yeah. I say cuz I'm just a human. She goes, yeah, yeah cuz you're, you're not, not a mermaid. You're not a mermaid. <laughs> On that note, okay guys. The, we are gonna wrap it up there. It has been like 45 minutes of us record oh like an hour of us recording this video for you guys I hope we got through all of the questions and hopefully you got to know Mike a little bit more You'll be seeing him a lot more in the videos as we are finishing up furniture orders You'll see him a lot over on the Eminem Rustics channel again. Be sure you go subscribe over to Eminem Rustics and make sure that you're following our blog and subscribe to our email list over there because we have all the interior home design and DIY ideas yeah. for you guys. It's gonna be super fun. So that's it. That's all she wrote, folks. That's that's all. We'll see you in a couple days for another really fun video. As in tomorrow, actually, because I've got a weekend vlog. So that's it. Kaya did not break anything. All right, we'll see you in a couple days. Bye.